Hey guys, this is going to be a video about the Asus EPC to play World of Warcraft. So, I've got my external USB hard drive here. And World of Warcraft was already installed on my desktop. So I just copied that over onto the external hard drive. Plug it into the E, which has Windows XP Professional on there, and I needed to change some configuration files to make the resolution fit the EPC. But um, once that's all done, you can go ahead and start a World of Warcraft. takes a while this EPC is overclocked to 900 megahertz right well unfortunately for me the server I tried to use didn't work because they are upgrading or something so I will just quickly show you how to set up your EPC so it can play Warcraft at the right resolution so if you can navigate to your World of Warcraft folder focus uh, hello. it's World of Warcraft folder and then WTF folder I mean there's a config file here you open that in notepad and look for along here around here you should see eventually if you keep going along you'll see 800 by 600 change 600 to 480 and then save it mine's already saved and then when you start Warcraft it should be the right resolution so now I'm going to show you World of Warcraft actually running again this is overclock it's 900 megahertz and block out my password good good it takes a while to load because it's running off this thing which isn't that fast So I'm currently in Shutter City. It's a little bit of lag. But again, this is one of the more populated areas. So that's to be expected. We've got 10 FPS at the moment. But that's to be expected really. Here I am in Thunderbluff. There's no stuttering, which I thought that I thought there'd be a lot more stuttering, but the only real problem is the frame rate drops down. But other than that, everything is really good and smooth. I think the thing that would give you better frame rate would definitely be the RAM which is upgradable the 
performance of this is actually really good. I mean, I could alt tab reasonably well without, you know, any problems or hiccups, and then I could probably tab back in. And this is just with the stock 512 megabytes. Here we are in Arigma. People running around. Still, the frame rate isn't great, but it's improving. I would say that this would be fine, definitely fine for soloing. I mean, here, here we are, someone more remote. And we've got 24 frames per second, which is very playable. We're on the minimum settings here but you don't really notice it the only thing you notice is the draw distance but that's because you know the resolution the screen is so small so yeah that's World of Warcraft if you have any questions, feel free to ask. You can, um, you know, do a comment or a better reply. So I will see you later.